It's 5.15. I don't always get up at 5.15. I have goals to get my day started by 5.15, but I rarely accomplish those goals. But today, I'm up at 5.15. If I'm up by five, that means I have one hour to myself before I have to get ready for work. One hour to do whatever I want. Six o'clock, I need to get suited up. Six twenty five, starting the work pickup. Six forty one, gas station coffee. Six fifty seven, just pulled into our work yard. Seven oh three, officially getting paid right now. So we're gonna start the day by cleaning out the back of this truck. Oh, fuck. 719. 725, going out to the job site. 745, we're filling equipment. 753, remarking line. 709, it's raining. 841, everybody else digging sewer lines. I'm shuttling pickups around the work job, work site. 935, running back to the yard to get sewer tape. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, uh, uh, water tape. We don't have any sewer tape, and I hate that. Now I have to go back to my supervisor and be like, look, we don't have any sewer tape. And he's gonna be like, did you look everywhere? And I'll be like, yes, sir. And he's like, well, did you look in the corner? I'm like, yes, sir. Like, did you look under the, yes, sir, I looked there, and it's just, Whatever. Was up here the whole time. 10.03, different pickup. Now we're on a secret mission. We have to go uncover some valve cans. Today's all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. 10.12, mission complete. 10.15, one hour, 45 minutes till lunch. 41 minutes till lunch. 22 minutes till lunch. 17 minutes till lunch. Six minutes till lunch. Lunch time! What the f***, Jose? Son of a chipping on the head. I hate to say it, but I look forward to lunch so much. So 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. is my normal shift, and the only break we take is from 12 to 12.30. You hear that? Do you hear how it's quiet? There's no equipment running. No one's talking. It's just chill. Lunch time's like a time for me to think. Um, or not think. Do whatever I want. But right now I'm definitely thinking, I'm like thinking about this video and kind of thinking, well, am I gonna be able to put something together that holds value? That has like a takeaway from it? And like that's what's in my head. But like going into this video, I never had like a core message or story or anything I wanted to tell. But I think that's okay. I think that having an idea and executing on it, even if it fails, is better than not trying at all. I don't know if that happens to you guys a lot, but like sometimes I get so into my ideas, like so into them, and I build them up in my head so much. And then I like, I kill them before I can even attempt to bring them to life. And I want to do less of that. Like I want to do less thinking, more doing. So like an hour ago, I got word that I'll be changing crews. So the crew that I've worked with since March of this year, there's six of them plus me, work together five days a week, every week, and for the rest of the year, I'm gonna be on someone else's crew. It's kinda sad, but um, I went and got ice cream for everyone. Oh yeah. Eating a Frosty, eating a Frosty, Victor's eating a Frosty, all those eating a Frosty. We're all eating Frosties. Six nineteen right now. Sun's a little low on the horizon. We just got back to the shop. Got back home, as I would say. Right now, I'm living on site at my workplace, so I can call this place home. Living at a construction shop really isn't glam by any means, but. 
What it does allow me to do is have zero commute time. And so once I get off work, I can just shower and I can eat and then I can use the rest of the time in the day for whatever I want to. When you kind of have like that side project, that side hustle that you want to work on and you don't feel like you have enough time in the day, you really have to figure out how to maximize every minute, every hour of the day. And living in this man camp, <laughs> door number four, way back there, that's me, allows me to do that. Not easy, but I get it done. done.